to chat with Shards with your girl, Miss Chardonnay. And today we are in the kitchen. Cooking. Kitchen. Cooking. <laughs> Welcome to Big Girl Eats, okay? Today is about food. Everybody's favorite thing. I don't know if it ain't your favorite, it's my favorite. So, what can I say? Child, am I ready? I'm ready. Is you ready? Because I'm ready. I mean, I'm trying to get some food. I don't know about you, so we open the kitchen, so, okay? Today, I decided to start with something a little bit unorthodox. So, have you ever kind of like got tired of food? Like, not eating, you're so hungry, but just like your choice of food. Like, you kind of like, oh, I don't want to eat rice again. I don't want to eat this again. I don't really know what I want to eat. Like, I feel like eating. I want to eat something, but I don't know what it is. So, you kind of just like, you know what? I'm going to try something different. This is one of these times, right? So, I said, okay, let me try something different. different. that I don't only have. So, this time, I decided to get this old thing. For anyone that can see it, basically, it is... Um, Patonigan scallops in a white wine and parmesan sauce topped with cheddar breadcrumb. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so they look like oysters, basically. And they look quite fancy. I kind of like them. I'm really kind of liking the packaging going on here. So I'm like, oh, guys, okay, what you got for me? What you got for me? So we're going to go ahead and cook this. Right. So there are two scallops in here. It's called a scallop gratin, okay? With white wine, we like some white wine and parmesan. We <laughs> like, okay. So you cook it at 20 minutes. Um, obviously, if you are allergic to seafood, this is not the food for you. If you lactose intolerant, this is not the food for you. And um, and um, if you don't drink, this is probably not the food for you either. So thank God I do all three of those because, mm. okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Sometimes when you're in a rush, you're like, I really need something quick that tastes good. Yeah, we coming to that side. I don't know if they be tasting good, but we try. I mean, they have a few new recipes. A lot of places have a few new recipes, so it's not just Sainsbury's and stuff, but we gonna try. So we gonna take this. This is very cute. You know, design is quite nice. Uh, I hope it looks better when it's done. Obviously, we'll it's in a shell and stuff. We're just gonna put that in the tray. And it, you know what, to me, it just looks like a really loaded, Clam. They should have just called it loaded clams, right? That's what it is. Um. Yeah. So um, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the oven right here, and we're gonna set it at the right temperature because you know how we be sometimes. Sometimes we be in a rush, so we just gotta add an extra higher temperature and just let it be done quicker. Yeah. Guilty. The fat on this is 15 grams. I think that's quite a bit of fat. It's supposed to be medium because it's orange, but that's quite a bit of fat. Saturates 8.5, so that's a whole lot of fat. Um, sugars are good, 1.4. So 1.7, that's mediocre. And um, per shell is 218 calories. So if that's filling for y'all, that's a good meal right here. But um. We shall see. So we're gonna go ahead and take the um, scallop gratin out of the oven. There we go. And this is what they look like. Okay guys, so now it's the verdict, okay? I got a scallop gratin. I'm probably saying it so wrong, but I don't know. For me, it's kind of liquidy. I mean, I don't know if it's supposed to be. But if it's 20 minutes on the package, I probably would leave it for a little bit longer. If that would even help. I don't think so. I thought the breadcrumbs were supposed to go all the way through. Like, it's just for decoration. I can taste the white wine. <laughs> That's the only part I can taste. Them. I don't know how I feel about this. I guess you're supposed to eat this with a spoon. Do you know that? I mean, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. It could just be better, I guess. What was that? Pretty average. Um, I feel like I just drank most of it. 
don't know I don't really feel like I got much from it like I get what all devs are don't get me wrong right but for something that's 400 and what calories that's supposed to be equivalent to one meal ah mate this ain't gonna cut it <laughs> not today bros really not gonna cut it no matter how bougie it looks it's not it's not something special it basically it tastes like a bit like wine obviously it's got the white wine part in it which is great you can taste that at least you don't feel cheated um you've got the scallops in there you can obviously feel the scallops i'm not gonna say taste them you can just feel them yeah you know that they're there they're present and um a bit of the cheese but the cheese isn't strong it's just kind of like i guess eating cheddar this regard you know in french it means basic yeah regard i may be saying it wrong but i don't know it's my roots regard regard yeah well, yeah that was it pretty much that yeah so let's move on to our second section shall we so what we're actually gonna do today is recreate this whole scallop gratin thing that we've just actually had um so to do that we gonna need some scallops <laughs> we're gonna need some scallops get yourself some scallops okay so that in fat and, sh and sap traits and stuff that's actually not bad so seafood that's good we got that right okay what we're also gonna use because i think with the um the scallops that were already made there's a lot of cheese like a lot of cheese in there so we're gonna obviously use some cheese so we're gonna use um, some mozzarella cheese because i prefer that it's like softer to taste yeah and to get the strong taste we're gonna use some of that that's like some some parjamino i don't know how to pronounce that. i ain't gonna lie whatever like it's like parmesan kind of like cheese that's what we're gonna use like up in there to give it some flavors okay so that's our cheese actually then we're gonna mix one more thing that is cheese to make the white sauce because remember it's in some white wine kind of sauce thing so we're gonna use some some philadelphia light yeah that's what we're gonna do we, we on the diet even though we eat we trying to keep it light okay so we're gonna use the philadelphia light yeah we're gonna use some of that to make the wine sauce with some milk okay whatever your preference is <laughs> semi skimmed um skimmed or whole fat whatever whatever floats your boat you do that i'm gonna go ahead and use semi skim milk that's me then we're gonna just cook it all in some fry light keep it light now to get like bread crumb the bread crumb effect we're gonna go ahead and use some couscous i think that is gonna serve us well so let's go ahead and do that let's get cooking um so let's not forget the most important factor in this okay give it a little bit of zoom okay it's the white wine so, I'm a Hardy's girl. I'm a Chardonnay kind of. I mean, Miss Chardonnay, you must have got it by now. You just must have, yeah. Miss Chardonnay. So, I'm going to go ahead and use the Chardonnay for this. <clears throat> Although, if you're cooking this on large scale, you might want to use the cheap shit. I'm just saying. <laughs> Some peanut. Something like that. <laughs> Some peanut. So, okay. with a kiss kiss, I saw drum wheat and whatnot. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to um, put that in for like four to five minutes we got like boiling water you know we don't measure but you don't need too much because obviously it's going to be like a little it's a little dish really and this is like the bulk of the filling part because in comparison to the pre-made malarkey um i feel like this is going to be a little bit more filling because you got the the bulk part up in here so we're going to go ahead and let that simmer I think using um, quinoa, quinoa, however you say it, um, is going to be a good idea as well. That's something I will definitely opt because I like the flavor of quinoa, quinoa, whatever. It takes the flavor of whatever sauce you put it in and that's just good. And it, it feels like rice without being rice, you know what I mean? Yeah, I kind of feel that. So we're going to go ahead and wait for that to boil. Whilst that is boiling, we're going to go do something else. Um, the scallop part. Um... So what we're going to do first, we're going to get the oil base, right? Okay. I'm going to use a wok for this because the wok is just quicker. So if you're busy like I am, then you just got to get it done, get it quick. Get something good to eat. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and do that. Then uh, for flavor, we're going to go a little bit more on all that stuff. I don't normally put onions and whatnot in it, but I cannot be bothered today. So we're going to go ahead and just... Throw that in there. All of them. Now, scallops are done pretty fast, so we want to 
really get this moving quickly but most of these ingredients are pretty done as well so this is probably like the most rawest out of everything okay so we're gonna go ahead and let those scallops cook now flavors i am very happy to use all the time pat rica pat the motherfucker rica right that shit makes everything taste good actually that's a lie maggie makes everything taste good <laughs> but pat rica <laughs> that rica child i'll tell you about pat rica <laughs> gonna get some herbs up in here some herbs up in here yeah yeah bring that all with that flavor yeah yeah all in there all in there all in there right then we're gonna go ahead and use some garlic up in here yeah okay now i'm not gonna lie this is probably a very good time to add some white wine because it just is yeah heavy handed i am <laughs> it's not that heavy. Just a splash. That's what it's called. A splash of white wine. Get it up in all its juice. And then it can marinate in that watch you get in the rest of your ish together. Now, we're going to start with the white cells. So, we're going to take this Philadelphia here. We're going to scoop out with a nice big spoon some of that. And that is actually enough. Now, I can appreciate you guys are probably used to what uh you know measuring things i'm not the measuring type i go with my feeler that's how i am just feel what it's like you guys all need to measure stuff because you gotta replicate it so what we're doing is creating a glass cream in there with that cheese just let it all melt and then we go add some milk in now again splash not too much because you want you don't want to drown it and then let that mix together as well yeah that's good by this time don't forget to keep an eye on your couscous make sure you do not forget to add salt just a pinch but salt is very important in everything i got my himalayan salt it doesn't matter what salt you use just use a bit make sure you add some to that couscous okay because it can dry as hell so this is just cooking nice little white sauce up in there remember we've added the wine already we've added the cheese we've added the milk so just let that solidify just a little bit more whilst that does that you check on the couscous okay and that's pretty much done by now because it, it takes less than five minutes to be do it to be done so i'm just gonna go ahead and turn that down now it's the important stuff I'm gonna take a bit of the couscous so you're gonna take your done couscous and you're gonna mix it all in there. Yep, exactly what I said. So take your couscous, mix that up in there. This is very interesting. Okay, so now we got this kind of like. That is pretty much the base of what we're gonna do so what we are basically gonna do you can add this before like now or after i think it's probably best to add it a little bit after but i'm gonna add it now anyway um just to see what that comes i'm gonna add some mozzarella just to give it like that thickness and that like consistency so just a bit of mozzarella on here now so that when you do put it in the um shells you can just sprinkle a bit of the uh parmesan cheese so that's lush right now okay guys so what we've done we've gone ahead and washed out our plates basically and we're just going to reposition them in the same medium we're going to fill them up sprinkle a little bit parmesan 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 cheese on it put it in the oven set it and we're going to see so what i'm going to do i'm going to take my big old spoon um with our empty shells let's put that up in the uh, already can see it in it <laughs> so cheese can see the cheese <laughs> well they were gonna put a sprinkle i don't know what other cheese they was using but uh <clears throat> i mean i'm just saying i'm gonna load it this is called a loaded scallop there we go and i mean you gonna have to work out how much calories this is in comparison to the first one then we're gonna get our parmesan cheese 
Oh yeah, that strong stuff. Gonna sprinkle that just nicely on the top there. Give that that thick flubber. There we go. Fabulous. Then we go ahead and put it inside. Put that lovely decorated, decorated scallop. Just to brown on over. Okay, guys, five minutes is done. It's time to take the stuff out. Let's see what we get. So let's go ahead and transfer them to the plate. Ow, that is hot. Just be careful. Use whatever you gotta use. I'm African, so. <laughs> so guys, that is basically it. Let's check in. Let's see how we did. <laughs> okay, okay. Definitely thicker substance. Got the cheesy part up in there. Mm, I'm not gonna look at it. Mm. Mm hmm Now this feels more like a meal. Now, I must say it's not because it's my cooking. Because I can get y'all in here for a few tastes, you feel me? But the consistency in there is good. It feels like a meal. I can have the scallops are there. The soap for the scallops is there. <laughs> you know, you got your herbs, you got mmm, got your flavor. Mmm. And you got your cheese. Mm -hmm. See this? This right here? Mm hmm Now I can call this a meal. I mean, white wine and all. Yep. It took less minutes than it did for the thing to cook in the first place. And this was definitely more done, more ready in less time. Definitely more filling, more tasteful. No offense. <laughs> just yeah, just more. More of a meal. Even a snack. Eat one and you're good. Do you know what I mean? This is a good shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. Uh, and I'm gonna see y'all guys later. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it was just a quick thing, very quick whip up. Obviously, when you're busy, when you've got things to do, but you're still looking for a change of palette, you're still looking for a switch up in your normal meals. I mean, just try it. What harm is it? What harm? Unless you don't like cheese. Most people like cheese. I didn't say everybody, I just said most people. But yeah. Um, but yeah, just try it. Obviously, you can flavor it up, you can switch it up, do more flavors, put onions in it, put mushrooms in it, fill it up, load it. But simply, this was nice. Until next time, guys, like, share, subscribe, do what you guys do best, and see you later. TTYL. Thank you.